I mean, we've tried to set a bar of accepted performances for ourselves. I mean, we've tried to not make it about the other team. It's like, okay, how are we going to play? And if we play absolutely the best we can, the results will take care of themselves, and we'll have no regrets. And uh, and but unfortunately, the last two weeks we haven't done that. We've too many turnovers, too many penalties, too many negative plays, too many big explosive plays that you give up defensively. And when you do that, then you don't earn a win. If you do all the right things, then you give yourself a chance to earn a win. You know, you want to win as many games as you possibly can. I mean, hopefully right now, I mean, our total focus is on Western Kentucky to try to win that seventh game. They're very big. They may be one of the biggest offensive line guys. I mean, they're doing a good job recruiting. They've got all the 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", 300-pound offensive line guys, and it's a pro-style attack. Uh, you know, so you see that on the defensive side of it. Uh, they are thicker and bigger at the linebacker, you know, which is going to be a big challenge as far as trying to establish a running game because they're a big physical front seven. Well, because they bring a lot of pressure. I mean, they'll fire corners, they'll find fire safeties off the edges, they blitz their linebackers. I mean, they do a good job of really trying to to attack the gaps. And, uh, and it puts a lot of stress because what that does is it eliminates an awful lot of any potential double team type of blocks. I mean, you're not gonna get a lot of two on one and then get off to the second level because they got guys that are filling those gaps. So it makes you really have to establish the one on one blocking schemes. Well, these kids, I, I, I tell you, this senior class has been outstanding. Not only are they players that actually contribute to the success of this program, they've done a fabulous job as far as leading the rest of the team. Their, their workouts in the springtime, their workouts in the summer, the way that they practiced all through training camp, uh, they've never made ego about it. Because we've got some of them that are starters, we've got some that are significant contributors on special teams, we've got some that are backups. And even the backup players, I mean, we've got, they've done everything that you've ever asked them to do, and I am, I am unbelievably blessed to be able to be their coach. You know, just a tremendous experience. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of ups and downs through our, uh, you know, through our four years. But, you know, this this final year is is, is kind of like the the treasure. You know, we finally found the end of the rainbow, and you know, we found that treasure. So it's pretty nice uh, that we're finishing off this uh, this this senior class going to a bowl. So just coming in as a freshman, you know, you never know what to expect. It was Turner's uh, second year. I was just trying to fit in, trying to trying to just make the team, obviously, and and, and support my my teammates and do what I can. Uh, but like I said, you know, coming up on this final year, you know, it's it's real. It's been a real experience, and and it's awesome to do it with with all the guys that I come in with. The last four years has been amazing. Coming out with all the guys, Anthony Went, Trayvon Williams, you know, Nico Gonzalez. Like coming out, it was just a blessing to be able to play football for four years, injury free, not have to sit out a year. You know what I'm saying? And like just be able to do the things I love every day. It's just been a blessing. Me and Went, we came in together. We was roommates. We had. A bun because we was the only two freshman linebackers coming in, and then we met. Then we met Nico. Nico was a, always a cool guy, smart guy. He loved getting in extra work and working hard. And Trayvon was just always the big brother that guided us and let us know what we needed to do and what not to do and things of that matter. You know, I won't forget it. That's for sure. You know, this has been the best four years of my life, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I can't say enough about you know Coach Turner and Coach Butch Davis for you know giving me an opportunity to play and you know just to fill my lifelong you know goal. Of, of playing college football. We were just pretty much excited because we had Coach Butch. He was a great guy, great coach, always motivating, always keeping us on the right path and just keeping us focused and locking in and everything what we need to do. And also, like, we didn't want to leave and envy the guys after us. Like, we didn't want to leave and be like, oh, we wish we could have did the things that these guys doing. So we made sure we worked hard as we can to get everything out this year that we possibly could. And now we both eligible. And now we're just looking for that next win to keep pushing. The, last, the most challenging thing, it was probably just, just coming in day in and day out and just giving everything I had. You know, I, I, I would say, you know, I didn't, I didn't really take days off. You know, I tried not to at least. And, um, you know, Coach Smith really, you know, drove that home with, with you know, the freshman that came in. You know, he, he didn't accept, you know, 90%, 99%. You know, it's either 100% or, or, you know, leave. Like, you know, so I think that Coach Smith driving it home early really instilled toughness and, and grit in, into the senior class. Try to get a feel of every coach because ever since I've been here, I had a new linebacker coach. So trying to get a feel for them and try to see what they like want me to do because everyone wants you to do something different. They want you to play this way, want you to play this way, cover this way. So just trying to get a feel of everyone and like adapt to the way they want me to play and just keep doing things like that. And also like making sure your body is healthy. Coming in, getting all the recovery you need, getting in the ice tubs, getting in boots, getting massages, just taking care of the body. You know. Just, just playing ball, you know, constantly coming out here, you know, putting, putting the time in, putting the extra work in. Um, you know, that's always tough for, for any student athlete, for any football player. 
Uh, that's that's probably the toughest thing is just staying on top of your on top of your game, watch film, extra practice, things things of those nature. It's really insane just just you know thinking about the whole process that I went through as you know coming as, as a freshman, uh, sophomore, and so on. Um, but this year, you know, it's it was important for me to step up and be a leader, and uh, I thought I thought I took that you know to heart and it was very special for me um, but this historic season like you said is really really exciting I'm glad that I could uh, you know have have had time with Butch you know coach Davis at least one year um, so that was just an awesome experience enjoy the moment live in the moment I know everybody said it and it sounds cliche but live in the moment because it goes fast that's the only thing I can say I'm the old, older guy, you know, I'm the senior, you know, so people look up to me, I'm the four-year starter, so I think that that really comes with a lot of leadership roles and, and you know, the, the ability to, to carry young, younger kids, younger men, you know, up with me and, and to show them how I work and how I, you know, I come, come out each day and, and get better. I can call any of them and ask them to do anything for me, and I think they'll do it. And the same thing goes, with, you know, then they can call me and I'll do anything for them. And I think we just know that about each other and, and we love each other.